Good morning students and welcome to today's class. So in today's class we will be just revising what we have studied in the last chapter that is numbers from 1 to 9 and 0. So first what we did we started with numbers. So we studied all the numbers from 1 to 9. So let's guess these numbers. So what number is this? This is 1. Then this number is 2. Then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Correct. So these are the numbers from 1 to 9. Okay. Then let's see the number names for these numbers. So O-N-E 1. Right. O-N-E 1. Then we have T-W-O 2. Then T-H-R-E-E -E 3. So 1 is O-N-E 1. Then 2 is written as TWO2 and 3 is written as THRE3. Okay, then after 3 we have 4. So FOUR4, then FIVE5, then SIX6. Okay, so 4, FOUR4, then 5, FIVE5, and 6, SIX6. Six. Okay, then we have 7. Uh, S E V E N 7 E I G H T 8 N I N E 9. So that is 7. S E V E N. Then 8 E I G H T. Then 9 N I N E 9. Correct. Then we have after 9 we have 10. Then fill in the numbers. So we did this last time. Right. So after 1 we have 2. After 3 then 4, 5. 6, 7 and 8. There is nothing between 7 and 8. So that is nothing here. And after 8 we have 9. But there is an extra box. So there is nothing here again. Okay. So these are the numbers from 1 to 9. And then reverse numbers. We saw how to read numbers in a reverse order. So for, uh, starting from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So these are reverse numbers. Then we did counting. Correct. So how many cars are there here? We have. So let's count. We have 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 cars. So we'll write 3 here. Okay. So there are 3 cars. Then how many ducks are there? We have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 4 ducks. So, 4 ducks. Okay. Then balls. How many balls are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5. Okay. So, this is how you count using numbers. Then again here. So, 6. So, 1. So, we have 1. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right. So, there are 6 balls over here. So, this is how you count using numbers. Okay. So, this was numbers from 1 to 9. Then what we did, we learnt what is 0. So, let's see what is 0. So, after numbers from 1 to 9, we saw learning 0 and comparing numbers right so learning zero here yeah, what is zero then this we have a fruit of a basket of fruits so we have number of fruits in this right then here after you eat all the fruits you'll have nothing left so there is nothing in this basket which means there are zero fruits in the basket so zero means nothing and zero as written as this okay it looks like an egg or an o so, 0 comes before 1. Okay, then we saw how to compare numbers. First, we saw what is the meaning of equal to. What is equal to? Here, we have a set of balloons. So, in this balloons, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 balloons. And here, another set of balloons are there. Here, also, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 balloons. So, there are 6 balloons. Both the sets have 6 balloons. Means, they are equal both are equal 
okay then we saw here another example how many fishes are there here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fishes then here also we have ten ships so both are equal ten and ten means both are equal all right so this is the equal to sign then we saw the meaning of less than here we have how many bats one two three four five bats and the number of balls are one two three four five six seven so number of bats is less than number of balls so we'll use this sign so this is the sign for less than okay here are the number of trees are four and the number of snowmen are six so number of trees are less than number of snowmen so this is the sign for less than then greater than here number of apples how many apples are there here one two three four five six apples and oranges one two three four oranges are there so number of apples is greater than number of oranges that is six is greater than four same way pineapples here we have seven and pumpkins three so seven is greater than three okay so these are the different symbol this is the greater than symbol okay and this is the less than symbol and this is equal to symbol okay so this is what we learnt in learning zero and comparing numbers now let's see what is the meaning of before between after then ascending order and descending order okay so we saw before between and after numbers correct so first we'll see what is the meaning of before here we are, i have two numbers one and two now here which number comes first okay before means the number that comes first so one comes first that means one comes before two okay so one comes before two so let's guess these numbers so here i have three which number comes before three so one two three so before three comes two okay same way six what is the number that comes before six we have one two three four five six so what was that just before six it was five so five comes before six then after what is the meaning of after here i have two numbers three and four so here the number that comes later or the number that comes second is called uh, the number which is after so here the number that comes later or last is among three and four is four okay so three comes after sorry four comes after three so four comes after three so guess after number so here they've given five what is the number after five so if you see this num list here after five we have six so after five we have six then seven after some what seven what is the number that comes after seven it is eight okay then between we saw between here i have three numbers four five and six so but now if you see five it is in middle of four and six it is in middle of four and six so five comes in between four and six okay so let's guess between numbers here they've given two and four which comes number comes in middle of two and four it is three okay so two three four then i have seven and nine so what comes the number between seven and nine it is eight so seven eight nine okay so this was between after and before now let's see what is ascending order and descending order so here this boy is climbing up these stairs so how first he'll climb one first then he wants to go to the last step on the top so he'll cl climb one then two then three four five six seven eight and nine so finally he'll reach nine okay so he is climbing from the lower step to the highest step that is he is going from one to nine so numbers are increasing okay so arranging numbers from the smallest to greatest is called ascending order so here the smallest is one and the greatest is nine okay so he is going from one to nine then descending order now once he reached on top he is coming down okay so nine eight seven six five four three two and one so from the higher number he is coming to a lower number that is his getting down or descending 
okay arranging numbers from the greatest to the smallest is called descending order so he came from 9 to 1 so he came in a it is a decreasing order right it is decreasing the numbers are decreasing so that is descending order so this is what we learnt in this chapter that is numbers from 1 to 9 and 0 that is the second chapter in your textbook so now what we'll do is we'll see a few questions on all these topics okay so let's solve these questions so count the objects and choose the correct option from the drop down list so let's count how many ice creams are there here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so from here we'll select 6 okay then sharpeners 1 2 3 4 so we have four sharpeners okay then leaves how many leaves are there here one two three four five correct so we'll select five then a number of caps how many caps are there one two three four five so we'll select five from this then mugs how many mugs are there one two three four five six so six okay and how many fishes are there here one two three four okay so this is how you count so these were numbers from four to six right so next so all your answers are correct okay then again count the objects and choose again we have to count so one two three four five six seven so there are seven whistles here then bells how many bells are there one two three four five six seven eight nine okay nine then cupcakes how many are there one two three four five six seven eight so we'll select eight then here we have some balls so how many are there one two three four five six seven eight nine so we'll select nine okay and then we have chocolates here how many chocolates are there one two three four five six seven eight right so eight then pens how many pens are there one two three four five six seven so there are seven pens so we'll select seven and then what we'll do we'll submit so all your answers are correct okay so this is counting from seven to nine then fill in the boxes with numbers by counting the object so here we have to write our type our answer so how we'll do one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight papayas so we'll write eight there then pineapples how many pineapples are there one two three four five pineapples are there so we'll write five okay and then one two three four five six so we'll write six here and then how um, uh, we have strawberries so how many strawberries are there one two three four so we'll write down four and then we have chocolates so how many chocolates one two three four five six seven so we'll write down seven and uh, puppies how many dogs are there here one and two so you'll write two and how many ships only one ship is there so we'll write one then birds how many birds are there one two three birds are there so we'll write three then mangoes how many mangoes are there one two three four five six seven eight nine so we'll write nine okay that's it all our answers are correct all right so we'll move on to the next one so fill in the boxes with the number names of each of the following so one what is the number name for one it is o n e one okay then two what is the number name for two t w o two okay then three what's the number name for three t h r e e then we have four what's the number name for four f o u r four then five f i v e five s i x six then what's the num name for seven it is s e v e 
and seven. Then eight E I G H T eight. Then nine N I N E nine. So okay, so these are the number names. Next, choose the plants that have zero flowers. So for, we have to choose the plants which have zero flowers or no flowers. So this first one has flowers, second one also has flowers, third one there are no flowers here. So we'll select that. Then fourth one there are no flowers here also. Then last has no flowers, so we'll select that. Okay. Then choose the boxes that have zero pencils. So first one has some, then second has no pencil. So we'll select that. Third also has some pencils. Now this box has no pencil, so we'll select that. Okay, then here also some pencils are there, so we'll not select that. Then choose the nest that have zero eggs. So we have three here, then there are zero eggs here. So we'll select that. Then two eggs, then one is there here, then nothing is there here. So we'll select that also. So see, so your answers are correct. Okay. Then fill in the boxes with missing numbers. So we have one. So after one, what comes? Two. Right. Then three, four. And after four, we have five. After six, seven then eight nine okay so here see nine now uh, before nine what comes so this is in reverse order we saw reverse order right so nine eight seven six five four uh, before four we have three then two one okay next count the number of objects in each collection then choose the correct values and signs from the drop down list to compare the numbers. Okay, so this is on comparing numbers. So, so let's see how many balls are there here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll select 5 here. Then how many marbles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll select 4. Now 5 and 4 which is greater? 5 is greater. So 5 is greater than 4. So we'll select the greater than sign. Now here pencils. How many pencils are there? We have 5 pencils. Correct. And how many erasers are there? Erasers are also 5. So both are 5 and 5. So they are equal. So we will put the equal to sign. Okay. So number of locks. How many locks are there? 1, 2, 2 locks. Keys. Keys are also 2. Then which sign you will put? Again they are equal. So equal to sign. Okay, so how many vases are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4. And flowers? 1, 2, 3. So, we'll select 3. So, 4 is greater than 3. So, greater than sign. Okay. Next. Okay, click on the smaller number in each pair. So, between 3 and 7, which is smaller? Yes, 3 is smaller. Then, between 4 and 2, which is smaller between 4 and 2? 2 and 1 and 6 which is smaller 1 is smaller all right so next one click on the larger number in each pair so 7 and 4 which is the largest number here it is 7 then between 8 and 5 which is the largest number it is 8 and between 9 and 3 we have 9 okay then compare the numbers okay so now again we have one comes before which number one comes before two so here two then dash comes after two which number comes after two three comes after two okay then three comes before which number it comes before four then dash comes after four so which number comes after four five so five comes before six and dash comes after 7. Which number comes after 7? 6, sorry, 7. Right, then 7 comes between dash and dash. It comes between which numbers? It comes between 6 and 8. The dash number comes after 8. 9 comes after 8. And 9 comes before 10. Right, and dash comes between 1 and 3. That is 2. Okay, so this is the uh, before and after and between so fill in the missing numbers we did just now no like this so one two three then after three we have four five six after six we have seven then eight and nine 
ओके ओके सो ड्रैग इच नंबर टू अरेंज इच सेट ऑफ नंबर्स इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एसेंडिंग मीन स्मॉलर टू बिगर सो इच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट वन सो वन विल कम इन द फर्स्ट बॉक्स देन वन टू आफ्टर टू वी हैव थ्री ओके सो वन टू थ्री फाइव सेवन सो दिस इज अरेंज इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर देन हियर अगेन विच इज फर्स्ट वन सो वन टू देन आफ्टर टू वी हैव फोर एट एंड नाइन सो दिस इज हाउ यू अरेंज फ्रॉम स्मॉलेस्ट टू ग्रेटेस्ट okay and next one drag each numbers uh, to arrange the set in descending order descending order means greater to smallest correct so greatest number will come first which is the greatest number here it is 9 so 9 comes first and after 9 the next greatest number is 7 then 6 then 4 and 3 okay so we arrange this then Here among one eight two seven five eight is the greatest, so eight will come here. Okay, then after eight we have seven, then five, then two, and one. Right, so eight seven five two one. So this is how you arrange in descending order. Then write the number before four, which comes before four five. It is four, and write the number after five. After five, we have six. Correct. So these were the activities on uh, what we have learnt in this chapter. Okay. So for your homework, I want you all to uh, write all the numbers from one to nine and write their number names. Okay. Write the numbers from one to nine and write their number names one time. Okay. All right, students. I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.